Try on the other side. Oh, it's singing. There's meaning here. It's a language formed from chords, musical scales, sonics. Mary was a pianist. She deciphered it. She thought these carvings represented the stars. Do you see? It's Cetus, the whale. We're a long way from the night sky. It's a mystery. According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. Here we go. believe that these creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? Then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent and they turned on each other. What happened? A sickness? A madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. With no one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. Anyone buying this shit? I don't know, but old Mother Mary was right about one thing. There's no more good in this place. Hey, come on. Let's go burn these motherfuckers. Seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn. We gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. Including our own colonel. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plan charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, We'll do more than fry a few vampires. We create a diversion. If we die here, at least we'll take some of those bastards down with us. Okay. 
Who's going to place the dynamite? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Take the detonator. If I don't make it... Nick! Hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep him radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up, you hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? How do they know where the exit is? They haven't seen one yet. In the the goggles, the binoculars. I can't make it out. Where'd it go? So that's how we're placing them. All clear from up here, buddy. Which way? Left or right? We're not seeing any movement. It's your call. Now let's go left. There was another one flashing Going over there. Left. Oh, great. That guy's behind us. Heartbeat time. Seeing guys over there. Holy shit. It's getting kind of hairy down there, brother. Why don't you ditch the rest of those charges and head back? Look at that, man. It's the mud. It's too far. Gotta do it. I'm going for it. This is way too easy. Which means it isn't good. Oh no. Oh no. What is it? There are too many. 
looks at that man. Sweet baby Jesus. Wait! What will warning him do now? There is no way out. Hey, how's it looking up there? Tell him. They're all over you, man. Hundreds of them. Means you've got the boss to tell the truth. I'm sorry, Nikki. For this? For what happened at that checkpoint? It's a war, Jason. Bad shit happens. Get out. Oh. 
she can go down in 24 hours. Nick, I need you here. here. God said, feels like this whole damn place is coming down. Salim, he's still alive. Salim, come in, man. Are you there? Better not be thinking about helping the bastard who killed Eric. Let him rot. You're wrong. Salim is one of us now. Marines don't leave their own behind. You hear him, Miss Salim? If I help Mike out, tell my son I did everything I could. Tell him yourself. I'm coming to get you. There was a curator again. Join the fun. <laughs> How do you get so far behind? throw that thing at me. I did. son is waiting for me. No evil is going to stop me from seeing him again. Listen up. You're not out of the woods yet. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Fuck that. Best of the best. We will get home. Gotta figure out how to get out of there.
on, Lieutenant. What is he looking at? Still the worst that the button presses. Damn it. Shit, I never should have let her go. Girl just didn't know how to stay dead. Get out of there. How the hell did we make it through that? Everyone okay? <sighs> We're alive. <laughs> We're fucking alive. This is Mailman 2 on to Coyote 2. Are you receiving? This is Coyote 2, solid copy. Evac units are being prepped. ETA five hours, wait, over. Five hours. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. We fucking did it! <sighs> I forgot how bright it is out here. <laughs> My home's not far from here. All this time, this was under our feet. I need a shower, clean clothes, a comfy bed, and a cold beer. Uh oh. How'd that just come out of nowhere? No. Not again. seen that. How long until the damn eclipse? 
its passes. You tell me, I don't know shit about space. Contact! Got any more bright ideas? Is this it? Flares? Where's the ammo? Fuck it. We use what we got. It's been interesting knowing you. Oh, come on. Stick those things in their chest. Hit it at the last minute, but I thought I had it. Like, can it burn them? Every one of them. I feel like this is never going to end. Like there was time when I had I had pressed it. How the one went flaming through the hole. Now there's physical proof above ground. I need to see my boy. Wait.
Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Freely they stood who stood, and fell who fell. Not bad. You've guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the darkness. Survival often comes at a great cost, a cost that others sometimes must pay. I look forward to our next encounter, perhaps. I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. <laughs> that we do. He's talking about Murder Hotel. You're late, and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? The ISG team took heavy losses, but it wasn't a complete disaster. We just had to scrape some of them off the floor. Poor bastards. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Cool check, Jason. First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? More so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You weren't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. I stepped back into that hell to save Salim. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! And Sergeant K? Nikki didn't make it. So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard. If you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Kolchak to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. Nothing to show. He walked. The hell's that mean? By the time the extraction team got here, he was gone. Could be across the border by now. Sneaky son of a bitch. Now I see why Kolchak enlisted his help. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. Ah, shame. This testimony could have been valuable.
This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Those two were married, right? In the loosest sense of the word. The report states that the colonel was shot. It's still a war zone. At least somebody here died normal. This comes down to Kalis. It mistook the temple for Saddam's weapon depot. <laughs> Piece of shit system. I wouldn't say that. It's been a big find for us. We've been lucky. This is your definition of lucky? Well, do you believe me now? This is Miller. He'll be fully debriefing you. Debriefing? You need to get your damn priorities straight. Those things are still down there. What are you doing about them? There will be plenty of time to talk things through. Right now, I suggest you count your blessings that you came through the other side. It's nothing short of a miracle that you survived down there. I learned not to rely on anyone but myself. I was stronger than them all. We'll be back shortly. We still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. You know, small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. Of course that's what they're gonna say. It's crazy. Man, I, I'll tell you what, this story was awesome. Really liked it from the beginning prologue to then jump into 2003 and just the U.S., Iraq war, that whole thing, how that was tied in, had similarities and connections to the, the mummy. If you ever watched the one with Tom Cruise, if you ever watched that one. There's some, especially the beginning of the movie, there, there's very similarities to the beginning of this when they're at the 2003 Iraqi war type thing. And it's just, it's kind of crazy how the, the ground opens up and everything. And then they find all that stuff. But yeah, it was really good. I mean, each of these games have, you know, slowly gotten better. It was kind of cool, but weird at the same time that they use the characters faces from the last two, um, Man of Badan and Little Hope, but it's, it was nice to see some familiar faces i'm really really looking forward to the next one just because of it being aj holmes and the murder hotel and the whole story behind that i did mention that on the end of the watchdogs legion bloodline dlc on the finale video so i'll get into it a little bit once we we jump into that game but if you want to hear what i said feel free to to check out that video and yeah, and then we'll do, once The Devil in Me is done, then we'll jump into The Quarry. Just kind of do a full, super massive run through, and we'll get those games done. But I appreciate everybody tuning in for this. If you've been here for Little Hope and Man of Bandan, thank you. For all the new subscribers, thanks so much. On my past subscribers and those that have been here since the early time, thank you to each and every one of you doesn't matter which point you subscribe i do appreciate it those of you that are just watching thank you as well you definitely deserve just as much thanks and appreciate you viewing the view videos and the content can't say it enough it is it's super nice to have an audience and and not just you know feel like you're playing this game by yourself so appreciate you all riding along with me each one's been fun, and I think this last one's going to be just as good. Can't wait. But until then, until the devil and me, thank you all. Take care. Be safe wherever you are. Hope you're enjoying life. Live it up to the fullest. And until then, thank you, and peace out.